हेलो दोस्तों आई होप यू आर ऑल वेल आई एम हियर जस्ट टू इम्प्रेस माई सेल्फ टूडे आई फील लॉ बेटर बिकॉज आई बीन यील कोई तो यील फॉर ओवर टू वीक्स आई हेड ब्लड इन्फेक्शन सो आई हेड डिफिकल्टी ऑफ यूरिनेटिंग एंड आई हेड प्रॉब्लम विथ माई किडनीज आई वॉज टोल दैट आई हैव किडनी स्टोन्स which i have realized in the end that they had ct scan in hospital and they said that i don't have kidney problems or urinary problem is just blood infection that happened uh, nearly 2 uh, weeks ago so that's why maybe my voice has gone a bit down as a influencer don't worry about that how how i look what i wear where i am and even what happens but just hear me because that's that would be good but i could say thumbs up that i'm okay i've been to hospital and i'm back and i'm on still on my antibiotics though but then i'm saying i might as well share all that and say thank you to all my fans that who has uh, mentioned all that in the facebook and instagram thank you very much so uh i'm i'm back here just because of that just to let you know that illness can come around the corners for anyone in any time and i was i did ask my uh gp what what's the problem did i do anything wrong did i eat anything did i uh not drink something that i shouldn't have or because i i don't drink uh, alcohol anyway so i don't know what really caused that for me to go really bad uh, for like 11 days straight forward and i end up in a hospital because uh, my my daughter actually had to call an ambulance uh, just to see what uh, really because she was worried uh, about me but i'm okay now i am good and i'm healthy and i'm i'm in training all the time and i'm eating well i'm sleeping well so a kind of job that i do which i work with the young people for all these years um as their mentor and you know as their uh, helpers in their in their daily lives uh i do look after young people from 16 to 25 uh, in united kingdom uh that is my job and before that i used to be a youth worker and i used to do the exactly same thing looking after young people and their sports and i used to look after their daily uh the seven different sports asian sports you know like kabaddi footballs and uh, nandai which is bengali people plays a lot of that um kabaddi was one of the good as well so i had young uh, tiger cubs i i used to be there with them as a secretary and i used to play for the bengal tigers in in bristol united kingdom uh, for uh, near enough 20 odd years uh, but we have lot of our youngers uh persons uh, they have taken over uh, the our uh, team royal bengal uh tiger team in in britain uh but, and they we have a cricket team which they play i don't but they do uh play cricket and uh, they're doing pretty well as well in football and in in cricket uh uk is a hub a biggest hub i would say for uh cricket uh, ventures so a lot of people are into that so going back to my medication and all that i like to say that i have kept myself well and i uh, did my daily what i usually do but not do any hard training or anything i do just daily um which is like if you do lots of stretching which helps you to restore a lot of the energy that you you lose so you drink some uh, honest drinks like you know not not even milk i i try not to drink milk more uh just water purified water is is fine and uh i do take fruits uh, fresh fruit juice as well i i make sort of smoothie type uh and i keep my balance there because of otherwise i could go overweight because of my age i could gain weight quickly um wife at home really cooks well uh, if i follow that being a bangladeshi husband i mean this is you know 
it could be a mother because the wives are cooking well every day <laughs> and that's 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 how they are like you know so i'm not going to comment on that she does cook good food but then if i start testing all her foods like that i will not be fit enough to do any of my uh, current jobs that i i am doing so uh going back to the inless again that uh, i have overcome and i have listened to my gps and and the doctors and nurses uh, how they would like to see me and i follow that routine and end of the day that we need to look after our own body because this uh, illness came it just came from nowhere and i i didn't know how it came to it it could happen to anyone i've been told and um, it just happened to me and i'm trying to say is uh, i'm well and i'm live and kicking <laughs> as a as a influencer i thought i'd better let you know that bit of a downside of it uh, how my life is actually so we are not a perfect whatever we do in our life we can tell people what to do but sometimes i could be you know not knowing enough but then you know listen to me and then judge it for yourself sometime you know because your body you need to talk to it and see how you your own body reacts to you at the times of the illness but respect the illness because when it comes you know it gets you it I, like i had out of out of 10 probably i i felt like you know i was just i got two percent left in me that kind of tiredness illness can bring it to you so i was down to my knees saying what's happening with all these aches and pains and so much but the doctors knew they diagnosed it and they got it uh, and I got my antibiotics, I had my salines, I had all sorts of scans and CT scans. <laughs> so I'm all right and I'm out of danger, thanks to you. And uh, I, I, I hope to see you all in our next, uh, next blog. So hope you are all doing well and do your best and look after your family and friends because that's, that's counts end of the day. Thank you and I'm glad to speak to you again. Take care. Bye.